So in this video, we're going to have a look at how to edit either a PowerPoint or a Word doc. Depending on how that piece of work is being sent out, it might be that, for example, if you have a look at this piece of work here, it's being sent as a Google Doc. Now, if we open this one, we'll have full editing rights on this one from the start. So as soon as it's open and loaded, what we'll be able to do is type out straight into the document. Right, finish loading. And we can type straight out into this document. Okay. Now, one of the best things about the Google applications here is the fact that it auto saves. We don't need to worry about that document. I've just written into that. I'm not going to press anything else. I'll go back to the demo classroom. I'll open it again. So I've got two other tabs now. And as you'll see in a second, it's there for us. Okay. So it's automatically saved that work. Now, sometimes we will also be set bits of work. And when we open those pieces of work, it'll be either in Word or PowerPoint. When we try to open these, it'll open like this. And we can't edit this document directly. So what we need to do is just move our cursor towards the top here. And we've got Open with Google Docs. Now, if it was PowerPoint, that would say open with Google Slides. So we'd open it with what is basically Google's version of Microsoft's software. Okay. So in this instance, if we click on that one, we just wait for it to load. Now, as you can see, it's not quite the way it looked for us on the previous screen. And we do have the ability here just to zoom out a little bit. So we've got to 50%. We've got all the information we need. It's just gone onto a different page. Okay. But because we can now edit this document, we can move it around as well. So we can move the picture around up here, for example. Okay. Now, when we finish with this, we can close it. And then when we go back to our classroom, we'll be able to find our work in our Google Drive. Our Google Drive is over on the right hand side here within the Google Apps area. This is equivalent of folders that we have on the school server. So if we click on Drive, this is all your work. This is where everything you've done, you've edited, will appear. Just wait a moment for it to load. And here it is, look. Here's the one that we've edited most recently on the left hand side. This is still the Word version, got a W inside the blue box, whereas these are just the line straight across. So this is our most recent version that we've just opened. Now, if we have our work and we've opened our work, but we've not completed it in Word, but we did complete it in Docs, what we can do next is add that work to this area here. So if we click on Add, and we go to Google Drive, where we've just been. We've just finished the work, so it will be our most recent piece of work. And there it is. If we click on it, press Insert. And then the most important step, so our teachers know that the work's been finished, we click Hand In. It'll hand in the original document, the Word document, which we haven't edited, but then it will hand in the piece of work that we have done. If, however, we then feel that there's something that we should have done and we didn't on that piece of work, 
we can unsubmit and continue to work on that document as well.